As someone who's made hundreds of custom Skylanders over the years, I'm sure you can imagine the amount of custom requests I've received from you guys. But I'ma keep it real with ya. Some of them suck. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's the Skylander Dude, back here with another video. And I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter to give me some more terrible Skylanders custom ideas for me to design. And now at the end of the video, comment your favorite awful custom from today, and I'll make the one with the most support into a real figure. So, this first one comes in from Skinny, who says to make a Food Fight Rocky roll where he's riding a tomato like Food Fight Soul Gem. So let's pop open a picture of Rocky roll here and then grab a tomato from Food Fight Soul Gem. I'll just take this here right from an in-game screenshot and slap it over roll, making sure to keep the eyes and mouth on top. And I'll just change his eyebrows to red and there's Rocky roll Food Fight. And just for fun, let's slide each custom onto a little digital shelf here. Next up, Nether Tamer wants me to mix together a part of a Skylander from each game. Now it makes the most sense to me to mix together some of the most well-known characters from each game, that of course being some of the starter pack characters. So let's start with Imaginators and go back from there. Obviously, gotta start with the base, so I ripped that off of Kingpin. Then moving up would be the legs, but with Superchargers next, instead of legs, this Skylander Frankenstein will have Spitfire's fire body. For Trap Team, I wanted to use Snapshot's torso, but all the official figure renders of him have his Traptanium arrow covering it up, so I actually just took the torso from when he appeared in Skylanders Academy. Next, the right arm will have the Swap Force part, and that's going to be Wash Buckler's arm, and his left arm will be completely out of proportion, as it's Tree Rex's, but finally the head has to be the OG Spyro. This is a mess, man I hate it, toss it on the shelf. Mykonoid came in with another food fight suggestion, but he said to make him a piece of meat. So I got Food Fight here with some random Traptanium background just because it was better quality than all the white background renders. And I'll drag this basic steak over his body while keeping his eyes and mouth on top. You gotta take off these extra artichoke leaves poking out. Then to clean things up, I'll change the color of his arms and legs to match the red on the meat. Boom. Now I'll quickly slide over to the shelf because I'm sick of all these food fights. Give me something else. Alright, let's make this. Head rush with two bottom parts of any swapper instead of the Traptanium horns. Now this is funny. I like this, Christian. It's like the perfect level of bad. So of course, starting off with the head rush here, gotta rip off the horns. They gotta go. For the swapper's bottom halves, I thought of going with more earth elements, so Rubble Rouser and Doomstone, but I think it'd be better to keep it basic and go with the starter pack boys, Blast Zone and Washbuckler. Plus, if this is the winning custom you guys want to see me make into a real figure, I got the idea to include the Swapper's top magnets into Head Rush's head, so you can even swap apart the horns and just have this 3-in-1 working Skylander abomination. Swishy Slimes over here simply put Spyro Body, Spry Head. Straight, to the point, but unfortunately this means we gotta rip off Spyro's head. So uh, look away if you need to do so, but I'll do it quick. I'm sure some of the OG Spyro fans have been wanting to see that for years, but I'll just quickly replace it here with Spry. Uh, it kinda looks like a Funko Pop. Simple and bad. <laughs> Great, onto the shelf you go. For some reason, Deppy Collection suggested a normal Barf Eruptor. Gross, but yeah, terrible, so I guess that's kinda the point. I'll select the Lava Barf of Series 3 Eruptor and play around with the colors until it's a gross green. I thought about adding more textures to the green barf, but the concept is gross enough. This is going to be as far as I take this one. Get out of here. Reach City proposed a Chop Chop with three swords. So, obviously you gotta start with a Twin Blade Chop Chop. I mean, half the work is already done for me. But you see, Mr. City, all you said was Chop Chop with three swords, not three arms. Which means poor Chop Chop here is going to have to awkwardly hold two swords with one hand. And I mean, that would qualify as an awful three-sworded Chop Chop. I feel like this would just be more of a disservice to him in battle than anything else. I think we all can agree that the steel-plated variant line is terrible. I've never met someone who even enjoys the color scheme. So when Fen wrote to make a steel-plated Gilgrunt, I figured, perfect, just what the world needed, some more steel-plated garbage. I went with Deep Dive Gilgrunt for this custom just to match the steel-plated smash hit with the Supercharger's base. And with some color changing magic, we have the gross steel plated Gilgrunt. It's hard to look at, I know, I apologize. Patrick says to create an eye brawl with multiple eyes. Now I guess he'll have his eyes on you. <laughs> so I took Eyebrow's eye and started throwing it all over Eyebrow. 
It was most fitting to replace the circles on his knuckles with eyes, but then I just kind of went ham. Oh, you thought that was it? Nah, there's more. Yeah, 20 eyeballs later, I was left with this. I think this is ugly, and that's why I made the cut. To end things off, Sir Stack hit us with the idea to give Shortcut the most beautiful hair. I like Shortcut, but I already know I'm not gonna like this. Unfortunately, I gotta take off his hat, and it's only gonna get worse from here. Let's grab some luscious locks and stick them onto his head. I imagine over time he would continuously give himself some accidental haircuts. But with adding the final terrible custom to our digital shelf here, tell me in the comments which one I should turn into a real custom figure. I hope I don't regret this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.